Hello everybody, we are on experiment 13 and this one is entitled Broil an LED. I took some liberties to engineer a little uh, temporary suspension here with an alligator clip that I uh, poorly soldered with a uh, copper uh, coil wrap around it to kind of hold it in place on this uh, old little uh, Allen wrench thing from some leftover IKEA project. Um, picked up a nice pan of ice uh, for kind of working on PCBs, but it still has its flaws as you see because you can't, you know, easily grab uh, little components uh, for situations like this. So, the idea for this project is, let me explain what we've got going on here. We've got a basic uh, simple red LED, it's, you know, 1.8 to 2, two volt uh, voltage drop and a 680 ohm resistor uh, hooked up straight to the uh, banana plug leads uh, to my power supply and we're going to run 12 volts through it which if you do the math should work out to around uh, you know 20 milliamps uh, running through light which is pretty spot on where we'd want this and what we're going to do is use a uh, tip of my soldering iron against one of the leads here to see how sensitive these are to heat. Um, the idea is we're, we're, we kind of want to, we want to get a feel for when we are doing soldering on future work, we have to have a feel for how sensitive the components might be to the heat from our soldering iron in terms of how long we leave the iron in contact with the uh, leads of our components. So maybe it's 10 seconds before it fries, maybe it's a minute. You kind of need to know that. Now one thing that differs from my setup from the book is I don't have a pencil soldering iron. I think that's what they call them, the, the kind of the, the low like 15 watt skinnier guys. I've got my one um, you know, variable uh, Heiko soldering iron. So what I'm going to do is I typically set, I'm not sure if you guys can see, yeah you can. So I typically set my iron to right in the center, about 350 Celsius, you know, 650 Fahrenheit um, for soldering, and that seems to be about right. So what I'm going to do for the first test is I'm going to like crank this down 50% to like, you know, we'll just have that, um, and that'll maybe, I don't know, hopefully simulate a kind of a weaker uh, soldering iron of sorts. So we are going to be looking for how long does it take, if at all, I have no idea, I've never tried this actually, um, for this LED to, to burn out with a little bit of heat applied to one lead. And assuming it burns out, um, you know, we're going to try, we'll, we'll grab another LED and we'll try putting one of these copper um, alligator clips that I've got that's going to act as a heat sink right towards the top of the lead right as close as we can get to the actual component to protect it and this way we can see using like the same temperature hey does it does it uh, dissipate the heat well um, and protect us at that given temperature with the soldering iron so um, I'm gonna go ahead I'm not gonna bother turning the, the power supply on just yet um, I'm going to turn the iron on but let's put this at a quarter or really a half of what I usually run it at. And thankfully this iron heats very fast. Right now that light is solid as you guys can see. And probably in about five seconds or so I'm guessing this thing's gonna start flashing. There you go. So that actually tells us that the iron is already heated to the temperature we want. And so the next step I want to do is, um, before we apply, I'm going to turn the, the power supply on. See if I can do this without getting in the way of the camera. Make sure our dials are all down, because we're going to dial ourselves up to uh, 12 volts. And in fact, I'm going to turn the overhead light off so that we can better see the LED. So give me just one sec here. Alright, so I'm going to dial this up 
We're at 2 volts, 3 volts, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. And let me do a little fine control here. We'll get us right up to right up to 12 volts. There we are. So we're running at 12 volts. Let me pull the chair over. And we're going to see what happens when we take our soldering iron at uh, about 475 Fahrenheit. And I'm going to touch one of these leads and see what happens. That doesn't look very good. Looks like it diverts some of the current. Hmm. Because what I don't want to do is cause any damage to my... Well, let me think about this for a sec. Hmm. Let me put that down for one minute here and confirm with the book because I think what's happening is I apply the iron to the LED and because the iron itself is grounded the current flowed from one uh, one of the leads through the iron because it's metal and potentially completed a circuit back causing a kind of a little short hmm I'm not so sure I want to try this experiment Yeah, I think for the sake of my devices, I'm going to not take this project any further, or this experiment. Um, one difference here is, uh, in normal uh, real-life soldering, you are not doing this while the power is running through the circuit. So doing this with the power on is probably not a good idea unless I missed a warning saying do this with the power off Yeah, I think we're going to stop. <laughs> um, I don't like the idea of plugging in and touching a powered soldering iron to a circuit that's got current flowing through it. It just doesn't seem like a very wise play. So uh, for you braver souls out there who want to try to uh, figure out the extremities of your components without burning them out, by all means, do so. Um, but I think I'm going to bow out of this one, simply because I was a little disturbed at the uh, relay clicking and uh, flickering of the variable power supply I have. I certainly don't want to cause any damage. And based on my limited understanding of you know what's going on here when I'm touching that iron because at first I anticipated the the heat of the iron being the only factor at play and it either would contribute to burning it out or it wouldn't but we're definitely having some electrical interference here too so some of that current is definitely being diverted so yeah okay well I hope you enjoyed the video <laughs> I can't say that this one completed this experiment. I was certainly poised to do so, but I think I will move on to experiment 14 and see you all then.